Walker, Walker, cornerback, Texas Southern University. Um, my journey was kind of rough. Uh, a lot of trials and tribulations. I've been through a lot, but um, you know, hard work and dedication ended me in the situation that I'm in right now. So, uh, just basically my effort. You know, just personally, you know, I've been through a lot as far as you know, childhood growing up. Wasn't with my mom at the age of six. Uh, father just passed away recently, so. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard on me, but you know, that, that kept me mentally tough and focused to pursue my dream, and that's playing the NFL. Um, actually, I'm from Miami, so I was Googling everything, trying to help myself and my draft stock, and my agent also helped me out. I feel like I did good, good enough, but I could do better, you know, with the training. So, pro day, hopefully, my, my results improve. Uh, not really, not really, not really. It's a, it's a wonderful experience, though. So. Enthusiasm. Uh, I'm aggressive, corner, 6'3, long, linky, can run, uh, locate the bar very well. He's a great player. I just, you know, I bring whatever they need. Randy Arby, cornerback, Florida International University. Man, it's been a long one, man. I had to uh, go through junior college, and then from junior college, I had to fight my way in the Division I program. Uh, from there, somebody gave me an opportunity, and, you know, I just I just went with it, I ran with it. Um, and I had a friend who uh, went to it last year and uh, I just um, was trying to find any way to get my talents out there. So I looked it up, searched it and, and looked into it and went from there. I feel like I did great. I feel like, you know, I was confident in myself. I had a good time overall and uh, I'm happy and I'm just gonna let God do the rest. I was nervous, I had a little butterflies, but I feel good now, it's over and, and, I'm, and I'm ready to just, you know, get back to training. Man, I'm gonna bring, you know, I'm gonna be respectful, I'm gonna bring, I'm, 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 I'm going to be a guy who, who will do whatever. Do whatever just so I can get on the field and, and make the team better. Okay. Um, Jonathan Rollins, um, Western Illinois defensive back safety. Strong safety. Man, it's been a long journey. I um, started playing football in my sophomore year of high school. I only got one offer from Western Illinois. And you know, I just wanted to get better and better every year. So to be in this position right now is a blessing. I mean, I knew how to work harder because I know there's a lot of people just didn't believe in me and doubted me. So I had to just believe in myself, find other people to believe in me. And that one school gave me that shot. You know, I did what I had to do at Western Illinois. Um, I'm just trying to do the same thing on the next level. Uh, I could have did better, but you know, um, I'm not perfect, but you know, I'm striving to be as close to it. So um, I just got a couple more things to work on, but I feel like I gave them my all, but I, could, I, I probably could have did a little bit better than what I did. And you have a little bit of butterflies, you know, but you just have to breathe, you know, have faith, pray. And, you know, that's what really got me through the whole day, just, just performing with, doing the same thing I do every day, but just with different people looking at me. Oh man, I bring competitiveness, you know. I just want to be the best, just want to win. You know, I'm here to compete, you know, and make any team win. My name is uh, Montague Mack. I play uh, outside linebacker. I went to Jacksonville University. I mean, honestly, I felt like I put forth my best effort, and you know, I came out here and worked. It was a group, a group of other guys out here that was just as talented as me, but I felt like I just, you know, separated myself in the drills. I mean, the journey to get here so far, I mean, it started off at uh, Jacksonville University. We ended up ending our season short, and we couldn't make the playoffs, so we finished that 9-2. and two. So, I mean, as far as that, I've been training, putting in work from then, from the get-go. Oh, I trained at uh, Godspeed uh, facility is located in Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, we just basically just work on the drills and combine with uh, James Coleman. And honestly, honestly, I was more nervous of getting on time because I actually ended up going to the Miami Dolphins Stadium, and, <laughs> and the dude actually told me that I was at the wrong spot, that it was at the training facility, so I had to just make her up and get over here because I, I was late. I was like, late, late, the last dude to get here. <laughs> so. In this state, though. Honestly, I feel like my passion, what I do, I, I'll be able to just go out there and become part of a team, become part of any team, and just be, be that missing piece that people just need out there, you know? My name's Martez Jackson. I play outside linebacker, and I'm from West Alabama. I think I did pretty good. I, I made sure I went all hard on every drill, so I played pretty hard. Uh, man. Really, I, I started off at the University of Tennessee and end up, after my second year, I end up transferring to a junior college. Was blessed to be able to get into junior college. West Alabama, you know, they blessed me. I always say keep faith, so they blessed me in order to pick me up and now I'm gra I graduated from West Alabama and now I'm here. Uh, through faith, 
basically someone called me and told me about the regional combine. I didn't know that. I didn't really know it. I, you know, it just like I said, I keep faith and God keep making making ways for me. I was I was nervous. I was I was pretty nervous, but I mean, that's part of having faith, though. Yeah, as long as you keep it, I mean, God will pressure you through anything. Uh, Ran I bring to, I bring hard work, intensity, and dedication to finish. John Lusant, strong safety, outside linebacker, Weber International University. Um, how I feel like I did today, I feel like I did pretty well. Um, not as great as what I expected, but um, it was a start. I definitely looked at great in my drills, which was most important to me, because at the end of the day, the game is about playing football. And uh, I definitely looked well in my drills, coming out my breaks and things like that. So um, just ready to get back to training and get ready for my pro day March 27th and ready to get back to work and not be satisfied. Yeah, I, I've been dealing with this little grind, uh, hip flexion kind of issue. Uh, it's been going on for the last two weeks uh, in training, but you know I still came out here and compete. I just didn't want to go out here and chance it on the 40. Um, I know I have my pro day coming up on March 27th, so I just want to make sure I really get focused for that, put up a good time in 40 for the scouts that are, you know, that are coming to our school, at Weber International University. So uh, yeah, but um, you know, I, overall the day was pretty good. Though. I can't complain. Uh, yeah, definitely nervous. You know, you know, of course you're gonna have butterflies. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's football. It's something I've been doing since I was a little kid. So eventually, I calm myself down. The spirit of God helped me, and um, I'm just thankful that I, I had, a, you know, a good showcase. Um, but definitely not satisfied. Ready to get back to work. All right, you ready to head back to D1? Yes, ready, ready. Coach Taylor, I can't wait to see you guys. Thank you guys for all your help, and I'm uh, ready to get back to it. All right, Cameron Mitchell, Ed Waters called cornerback. Oh, my journey to get here was long and rugged. It was kind of unexpected, to tell you the truth. Um, first off, it was a little all-star game I got invited to. Then, now this, so it's just a blessing. So, um, Matter of fact, from the all-star game, one of the coaches had told me about it, so he put me in it. But yeah, it feels good because it's something I always wanted to do. And now it's the opportunity. I came out here showcasing talent, so I feel I did really good. No, no, I wasn't nervous. Never, never nervous. I started in ninth grade. Ninth first grade? Year. First year, played varsity all four years. Jeez. Injuries are always part of the part of football, so I mean, playing with injuries now, but I don't, you, know, you wouldn't even know if I had injuries, so mind over matter. Uh, I can bring versatility because I can play multiple positions and coverage, man to man, it's my favorite, so corner. I like playing, so 